So we're Lindartis Farms. We're based just outside Kirimuir in Angus. Uh, we're a suckler finishing unit. We breed all our own replacements. Anything not deemed good enough to be kept on is finished on farm and goes up to Macintosh Donald uh, to end up in Tesco's. So we bull 160 cows every year. The makeup of that will be about 50 to 60 pedigree Aberdeen Angus cows to the remainder being an Aberdeen Angus cross scimitol cow. We bull 40 replacement heifers every year at 13 to 14 months old to join the herd as two year olds. So when we wean our calves in the back end in October time, they're weighed and any heifer that's over 360 kilos at that time is then deemed um, to be eligible for a bulling heifer for the following spring. Um, we like them to achieve 65% of their mature weight at bulling time and they are all selected from the first turn of calving. They're selected from the oldest lines that we have in the herd. So the cows that have been on the farm the longest, that have thrown up the fewest issues, we retain their female calves to join the herd. They are selected for temperament, feet, confirmation, udders, mothering ability, and anything that doesn't meet that criteria is thrown into the finishing side of the business. Any cow that shows any sign of bad temperament, bad feet, bad udder, or a bad mothering ability, we would not keep any females from that line um, to breed from in the future. At, at weaning time, all the heifers are pulled into a pen together. We slowly pull out all those heifers that don't make the grade for weight. We end up with a pen of 40 heifers that we're happy with on all the criteria that we've chosen. At that point, they're then weighed. We sit down with our nutritionist and we go over where they are currently and where they need to be at bulling time. And we come up with a tailor-made ration to put through the TMR to ensure that they're going to make the daily live weight gains to achieve their bulling weight come the springtime. And that's monitored all throughout the winter to make sure they're not too far ahead or too far behind. All the heifers that are selected for bulling heifers are given two vaccinations before they're put to the bull. They get a Spirovac vaccination for leptospirosis and they also um, we BVD vaccinate all our breeding females. So they have two vaccinations of that before they go out to the bull and then yearly after that all the females receive a, a single booster vaccination moving forwards. We've carved at two years old for the last 15 or 20 years. We used to carve at three but we were having problems getting heifers back into calf um, for the second time and we do have the ability here to pull our heifers off and give them that extra little bit of care through that winter um, to make sure that they're growing on okay so calving at two for us has been working very well for the last 10 to 15 years. One of the big successes for us is moving to a more native breed for us the Aberdeen Angus we're getting far better performance from grass. We get the cows out as early as we can in the springtime, keep them out as late as possible in the winter time. And we just think the cows are healthier, they're fitter, they calve better, uh, especially at two. Um, they just do so much better and they, they tick a lot of boxes for us here.